Are you more in consumption mode or creation mode? Most people spend a lot of time consuming, consuming content, consuming ideas, consuming, scrolling on their phones, and not as much time as they'd like to on creation. What do I mean by creation? It can be anything from creating content like YouTube and podcasts or blogs, but it can also be creation in terms of painting and music and art. It can be any form of creation. Life in and of itself is creative. We're meant to be creating, creating something, creating a business, creating harmony in our relationships, creating art, creating music, creating anything that you can think of is a form of creation. In today's world, what has happened is that some people, the minority, create this content, create things, and then the vast majority consume it. If you think about things like Netflix, there are some people behind there creating the episodes, creating the series, creating the film, there are actors and directors involved, and then that's a small minority. The vast majority of people are watching the shows and consuming them. So what's wrong with consumption? What's wrong with consuming Netflix or reading other people's posts on Instagram? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with it. It's only that if you spend most of your energy and time consuming and not a lot creating, this leads you to feel less fulfilled. This is because we're actually less in flow when we're indulging in something passively than when we're actively creating it. Simple example here, me creating this content for YouTube and for my podcast, I'm actually more in flow than when I watched a YouTube video the other day. This is a general fact. When we're creating, yes, it demands more energy, more proactivity for sure, but we're more in flow, we enjoy it more, and we have more of a sense of meaning and purpose. When we're consuming a lot, it feels passive, and on the long term, it doesn't feel as rewarding or fulfilling or satisfying as creating your own content, art, cooking, you name it. <laughs> All of these are different options. How can you shift from this consumption way of being to a more creative way of being? Pretty simple. <laughs> Want to cut down on the information and the content that you're consuming and start to build a habit and practices of creating more. How can this be done? First, start to notice what are your main sources of consumption? Is it the news? Is it social media? Netflix? Blogs online? All of them. <laughs> Make a little list. What are all the things you're consuming in terms of information that it's taking up a big load in your brain, taking a lot, a lot of that attentional space, a lot of that focus and energy is going into consuming all of this content. So notice what are you consuming regularly in terms of information, knowledge, and then start to ask yourself which one of these really provides value. Because again, it's not about just cutting them all out. But ask yourself, are you really getting a lot of value from that blog, that newsletter, this Netflix show, that Instagram feed? Some of them, maybe. Some of it you love. I know that recently I read a couple of books, really had a huge impact on my mind, talk about them all, all, the, all the time. That's also a form of consumption. I find in general that books have more information and are richer in knowledge and more satisfying than other pieces of information but you can choose what you want to consume. Now look what parts are actually providing value for you and which ones do you want to skip? Which ones are things that you're just doing to pass the time or out of habit or because other people around you do it and it's not something you genuinely enjoy? I've seen time and time again when working with my clients, when I ask them to review what brings them joy and what is a drain, very often consumption, often it's Instagram and social media, very often consumption of these sources drains their energy. On the opposite hand, if we look at creating, what would you like to create? Do you want to create content for social media or for podcasts? Great. Do you want to write your own blog? Fantastic. Do you want to write your own stories, write fiction? Or have you always loved to draw and for some reason you've stopped drawing? Get back into drawing, amazing. 
there are so many possibilities. Maybe you're a chef and you want to cook more. Maybe you want to create your own business and not be employed anymore. That's also a form of creation. Having a business is a very creative endeavor. So there's so many ways of which you can go about and create what is important in your life. So let's go back to the steps. First step, notice what you're consuming. Second of all, think which ones provide you value and provide you joy. If all of them, hooray. <laughs> but ask yourself how many are on autopilot, how many are old habits you don't actually want to indulge in anymore. Third step, start to filter out the ones you don't want to. Reduce them, put apps to block it, build new habits around maybe just one episode instead of four episodes every evening. Start to reduce the ones that don't bring you any joy. And then fourth step, this is where we get serious, start with creating. Create something meaningful for you. Create something that you enjoy doing. The world doesn't have to see it. It doesn't have to be video or audio for online. It can be little doodles that you draw. It can be a bit of music you play in the side. If on top of this, you want to give it to the world, share it with the world, that adds extra meaning because we like to share what we create. <laughs> Hence all the people on social media, right? They like to show what they're creating. It does actually give us joy. But if that's not your thing, do your own little creation on the side. I guarantee that shifting from this consumption way of being to a more creative way of being, which is our essence, which is what we're meant to be doing, so, so fundamental for our own joy and fulfillment. And I even noticed at one point, I tend to read quite a lot in the evening. Love it, love reading, highly recommend reading full stop and many different books. I also noticed that in some ways that was also consumption, reading two, three hours every evening. What was I creating? And what I started to do was sometimes stop and play the piano a bit, did some music, even played around with watercolors for the first time in my life. And that just gave me so much more joy that being in that passive consumption mode. So it's balancing things out. We want to consume some interesting information because that fuels ideas for creating content like this one, but we want, don't want to do it too much because then we become overly passive. It's all about that balance. And most importantly of all, we want to be consuming something that fuels us, where it's around topics that we like. I know a lot of people, for instance, who watch the news out of habit, but realize they don't really want to do it that much or as often. This is a habit. It can be shifted. It can be changed. There are work that can be done on it. I hope this has proven to be insightful. I know that in my case, when I realized this consumption versus creation, this was a paradigm shift and real eye opener. And also, if you are a content creator, then it's very interesting that when you consume information, whether it is a YouTube video or product or service out there, to see it from a creation perspective. There's something I heard in Ali Abdal's video and also something I realized when I was uh, observing businesses and branding, I'd start to notice logos or the way they did their sales or their proposal as if, how would it look if I did it that way or get inspired from it or have an ideal perspective from it. So it's very interesting when you do start to create more, you'll consume information in a more active way because it'll give you ideas on how you could do it this way. When I watch a YouTube video, or when I listen to a podcast, I have my little creative mind turned on, think, oh, that's a nice introduction. That's a good question. That would be a good way to go about it. And this fuels a more active way of listening or watching something, which is also more enjoyable then, and then you're more in flow. So those were the key points. Shifting a bit from just constantly consuming so much information and not creating anything from it or with it, and adding more creation, creativity into your life is a huge step towards greater fulfillment, greater, deeper joy and peace. I hope you enjoyed this topic. Enjoy the journey and connect with the magic of life.